Who is God? One of the most important truths to know is who God is. Why? Because our lives will reflect the God we know. One of the most exciting ways to know God is through his names. He delights to be our God and he delights to be known. When we know who he is through his names, we better understand him and his ways. We develop intimacy, a deep trust, and a strong faith in the one to whom we come to know. Psalms 9.10 says, And those who know your name will put their trust in you. Personally, studying in the names of God has been uh, one of the most exciting and life-changing Bible studies I have ever done. I discovered that from Genesis to Revelation, God's character, attributes, titles, and nature are revealed through his names, and that for every need we have, there is a name to meet that need. So by knowing his names, our prayer life is enriched and our worship is enhanced. So I'd like to begin a series of short devotionals each briefly focusing on one name of God and concluding by praying that name. Today I will highlight the name Elohim from Anne Spangler's book, Praying the Names of God. The key scripture today is Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Elohim is the Hebrew word for God that appears in the very first uh, sentence of the Bible. When we pray to Elohim, we remember that he is the one who began it all, creating the heavens and the earth and separating light from darkness, water from dry land, night from day. The, the, this ancient name for God, Elohim, contains the idea of God's majesty and creative power, as well as his authority and sovereignty. I'd like to conclude with an example of how to pray Genesis 1.1. Elohim, mighty one, you made everything out of nothing, imposed order on chaos, gave birth to beauty, and called it all good. Help me to know you are, help me to know you as the one true God who created everything and everyone, the one who has placed me on the earth for a purpose, to magnify your great name. Amen. I encourage you to pray Genesis 1-1. Pray it over our nation. Pray it over the world. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you in prayer. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction and that your interest was piqued to perhaps do, it, do an independent study on your own. I look forward to next week when we will continue to explore the name Elohim. Until then, God bless.